Question 22. In each diagram below, determine whether the triangles are congruent, similar but not congruent, or not similar. If you claim the triangles are similar or, congru or congruent, make a flowchart justifying your answer. So question A. Let's start with the piece of information that we're given. So we are given that angle B is congruent to angle D. Due to the tick marks, I know that has to be true. And we're also given parallel lines. AB is parallel with DC. So go ahead and answer. Do you think these are congruent, similar but not congruent, or not similar? All right, these, tri er, these two triangles are congruent. So tell me how they are congruent. What's the congruency theorem that tells us that they are congruent? If you said angle, angle side, you are correct. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's uh, try and find that side. What side is going to be congruent? Well, AC is going to be congruent to AC. So what property tells us AC is congruent to AC? That is reflexive, so let's start the flowchart here. All right, so we have angle B congruent to angle D because that's given. Then we have AC congruent to AC because of the reflexive property. And the last thing we need is the last angle. I know that this angle is congruent to this angle. So angle DCA is congruent to CAB. How do I know those two are congruent? I know they are congruent because they are alternate interior angles, AIA, so alternate interior angles. So I can write my justification. Go ahead and answer the question, which of the following options are correct ways to name the triangle congruency. Make sure that you select all of them that apply. So there will be more than one answer. So for the one I put in the bubble, I chose to go yellow, purple, green, so A, C, D, which then means it's gonna be C, A, B, yellow, purple, green. And the reason for this one, once again, angle, angle, side. Since the side's not in between them, it's angle, angle, side. And last thing, make sure you show the flow. All right, there we go. That is letter A. Let's move on to letter B. So is letter B, um, well, let's start with what we know. Okay. So I know that this is 50 degrees because this is given to me. And I know that this is 50 degrees. So do you think these triangles are congruent, similar but not congruent, or not similar? For this triangle, it is going to be similar but not congruent. So let's prove our similarity. Which way do you think that, that we're going to go for this one? Do you think it's going to be side, side, side similarity, angle, angle similarity, or side, angle similarity? It is going to be angle similarity. So we're going to have a two-part flow chart here. And my first one's going to be angle I is congruent to angle G. And how do we know that? They're both labeled as 50, so that was given to us. And what do you think the other angle is that's going to be congruent? All right, so for me, I know this is very small, um, but I'll read it. So it says angle JHI. So this angle right there is congruent to FHG, which is that angle right there. And how do I know that these two are congruent? They are vertical angles. So then I can write my conclusion, which is going to be triangle. Um, in this case, I'll go green, purple, nothing. So GHF is similar. And once again, we have to go green, purple, nothing, IHJ. And that's by AA similarity because we've got two angles that are congruent to each other. Question C. So do you think these two triangles are congruent? Congruent, 
or not congruent but similar or not similar? If you said not similar, you are correct. This one's tough. It looks almost like it's going to be side angle side similarity. So let's investigate that a little bit. So if it was side angle side, um, let's start with the angle. I know we have a right angle here and I know we have a right angle here. So we could say angle S U T is congruent to angle V T U. And this is given. I then need to take a look at the sides and match up the sides accordingly. So I could say S U over T U. And if I take out my calculator and I divide SU divided by TU, I'm going to get 0.67. The next pair of corresponding sides would be, um, remember we're doing small over big. So actually let me color. So I've got SU and TU. Okay. Now we need to do the next pair. So this one's going to be TU and TV. So small over big would be TU over TV, and that would equal 0.5. So because my slope ratios are not the same, these triangles are not similar. And question D. So we've got a couple different things going on. Let's match up our sides. So we have a pair of corresponding sides right here, a pair of corresponding sides there. So we know that KM is congruent to QR since they're both 13. And we know we've got a right angle here and a right angle here. So these triangles are going to be congruent. Um, and how are they congruent? And there's actually two ways you could have went here. Um, on the computer, I did not have, I did not give the choice of SSS, and that's because I wanted you to see the other way. So we're going to have to do a little bit of Pythag here. Um, let's say we want to find out what PQ is.